What's that, Mama? I picked this up in town the other day, but I need a base built for it. Not it. Not it. Uh, okay. I guess this week I'm going to be building a windmill. Oh, I also need my brake pads replaced. Not it. Not it. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll do it. While Cody got started on the car, I got started on the windmill. Since this is going to be outside, I decided to use cedar for the build. And I found these two buys at the big box store and thought they would work out perfect. So I used my super jaws and my circular saw to first cut them to the height that I wanted the windmill to be. Now, I'm sure y'all have heard me say it before, but these super jaws are amazing to have around. I honestly can't recommend them enough. They're almost like having a third hand around to help you out. After cutting my boards to length, then I moved over to the table saw and started ripping them down to make up the four legs. Then I cut a compound miter on both the top and the bottom of all the legs. I chose to use five degrees, but you can change how wide your windmill stands by playing with this angle. Next I grabbed a scrap piece of plywood and cut a temporary base, just something for me to screw the legs to temporarily while I built the rest of the base. I attached two of the legs on the ground, then stood it up and attached the other two. Now I started working on getting the legs of the base where I needed them. I would first use a tape measure to measure in between the legs and adjust them accordingly. Then my mom came through with chalk and marked their location so that we could easily tell at a glance if they'd get shifted. Then I moved back to the table saw and started cutting up the slats that will make up the X's that you see on all windmills. And I chose to use cedar fence pickets for this so that the entire base would be made of cedar and have a uniform look. To start adding the slats, we first determined how tall we wanted that top X to be. Then I would just hold one of the boards in place while my mom came through and marked it. Then I would take the board over to my super jaws and use my jigsaw to cut along my lines. To attach it, I used a countersink bit first, then came back through with screws. I would first put in one of the diagonals, then come back in and put in the horizontal piece, using a level here to make sure that it's level from leg to leg. And I repeated this pattern on all four sides. Of course, making sure that the legs were still on their chalked line position before screwing it down. After all four sides were attached, I decided to add a second screw to every joint. So I came through with a countersink bit and showed my mom how to use a drill so she could drive in the screws. Then it was time to start adding the second X. To do this, I would first cut it to length and then use clamps to hold it in place and bend the wood slightly while I came back and attached it permanently with screws. Now, to get this angle, I would clamp the board in place while it was still long, then use a speed square to just eyeball the angle. Once the top X's were done, we repeated the process to do the bottom X. My mom was showing a lot of enthusiasm for learning, so I decided to hand over the jigsaw. You want to use a jigsaw and cut? Yes. Okay. I actually think a jigsaw is a great tool to start a beginner off with. It's cool enough that they feel cool, but it's not too powerful to really intimidate and scare them off. So she took over the cutting and we just repeated the pattern on all four sides. That is, until a good song happened to come on. <laughs> Life is too short not to take the opportunity to dance, especially with one of your parents. Okay, okay, back to work. I did all the tracing while mom did all the cutting, and then we came through and attached all the final slats. Next it was time to start making a platform, and for this part, I'm using all of the offcuts from the other pieces. Again, I set about tracing while my mom did the cutting. She really took to that jigsaw and super jaws. Once the slats were cut to size, I just spaced them evenly across two boards and then used screws to attach them permanently. I took the platform to the top of the base and then screwed it down to the four legs. Alrighty, now onto the wind turbine. Now this thing was extremely rusty and my mom was fine leaving it this way, but I'd prefer to clean it up. So I actually gave it a vinegar and salt bath. If you're interested in knowing more about this process, then I actually made a separate video going into all the details for you. And a link is in the description if you're interested. Once all the rust was removed and cleaned up, I started giving it a coat of paint. My mom wanted this portion to have the classic red tips, so I started by spraying all the tips red. Then after they were dry, I taped them off so I could paint the rest of the body. 
While I was at it, I taped together a few pieces of painter's tape and then had my mom cut out a star because she decided that she wanted the tail to have a Texas flag on it. Once things were dry, I removed all of the tape pieces, but didn't throw them away because I still had to flip it over and repeat the process for the back side. Then the tail was just a matter of taping off each section at a time, letting it dry, and then repeating. And if you notice in this photo, it came out looking really cool. However, it is upside down. So learn from my mistake and make sure you're paying attention to the direction. Fortunately, I was able to remove the two back screws and just flip it around. All right, and then the big moment, figuring out where to put it. I actually have a funny video posted on Instagram of me dragging it all over the property while mom made up her mind on where to put it. Once a location was picked out, I used some plastic stakes to drive into the ground near the legs, then came back with screws to at actually attach them to the base. And then it was just a matter of putting the actual turbine on. All right, and that completes the windmill build. Now, if you would like to build your own, I have a set of plans on my website, and there's a link for you in the description of the video. So I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Facing this way. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and take the grease back. I'll bring the grease gun back later after the clock guy leaves. Oh, I love it! Okay. Let there be wind! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, oh, mama. I love it. Okay.